Have you ever wondered how revolvers are made? These iconic firearms rooted in the history of the American Wild West are more than just relics. They're an impressive example of precision engineering. Today, we'll take you through the entire process, step by step. We'll focus on how raw steel blocks are sourced and inspected, how they're shaped into precise frames, and how cylinders are machined to microscopic tolerances before the final assembly brings everything together. If you're curious about industrial processes, hit like and subscribe for more factory walkthroughs. Tell me in the comment section from where you are watching this. Transforming raw metal into the revolver frame starts with high-grade steel blocks chosen for their toughness and dimensional stability. These blocks are carefully inspected for any surface flaws or internal defects that could compromise the strength of the finished frame. Technicians examine each block looking for cracks, inclusions, or irregularities, making sure only the best material goes forward. This attention to detail is crucial, since the frame supports the revolver's main components and must withstand repeated firing stresses. Once a block passes inspection, it moves on to shaping. The next step uses CNC milling machines. These are computer-controlled tools that carve the steel with a level of accuracy a human hand can't match. The machines follow CAD-based instructions, cutting away excess material and forming the basic outline of the frame. Every notch, groove, and pinhole is milled to within tenths of a millimeter, ensuring that the frame fits precisely with other parts down the line. This process eliminates human error and guarantees that each frame matches the manufacturer's design exactly. After the first round of milling, the frame still looks pretty rough. Operators secure it in the machine for a second set of passes, where the CNC tools refine the shape and add more detailed features. This includes the slots for the trigger mechanism, the mounting points for the barrel, and the housing for the cylinder. The machines work in multiple axes, letting them carve complex curves and tight corners that define the revolver's profile. At this stage, the frame starts to take on its familiar look, but it still needs more work to reach its final form. With the basic shape established, the frame goes through a process known as stress relief annealing. This step involves heating the metal to a specific temperature and then cooling it slowly. The purpose is to reduce internal stresses that can build up during machining. If left untreated, these stresses could cause the frame to warp or crack over time, especially under the repeated shock of firing. By carefully controlling the temperature and cooling rate, manufacturers make sure the frame stays strong and stable. Once stress relief is complete, the frame returns to the workbench for finishing. Technicians use grinders, polishers, and sometimes even hand tools to remove small burrs and smooth out the surfaces. They check all the critical dimensions again, measuring with micrometers and gauges to confirm the frame meets strict tolerances. Every edge and surface is refined until the frame is free of flaws and ready for assembly. This attention to detail isn't just about looks, it's essential for reliable operation and long-term durability. With the frame now machined and heat treated, we move on to crafting the revolver's most critical rotating component, the cylinder. Crafting the cylinder demands a level of precision that sets the standard for the rest of the revolver. The process begins with a cylinder blank, chosen for its consistent alloy composition and ability to withstand repeated firing stresses. Each blank is carefully inspected for internal flaws or surface defects that could compromise performance. Only those that meet strict standards move forward. Next, the blank is loaded into a multi-axis CNC machine. This computer-controlled setup carves the metal with exacting accuracy, shaping the outside of the cylinder and drilling the chambers. The machine drills each chamber to within a few microns of tolerance so that every round lines up perfectly with the barrel. This step is critical. Any misalignment could cause the revolver to malfunction or wear out prematurely. The CNC machine also cuts the notches and locking grooves that control the cylinder's rotation. These features have to match the rest of the revolver's mechanism, so every edge and surface is checked against digital blueprints. Once the basic shape is complete, the cylinder is removed from the machine and handed over to technicians for further inspection. 
Technicians use micrometers and laser gauges to verify chamber diameter and concentricity. They check that each chamber is uniform and that the spacing between chambers is exact. Even a tiny deviation can affect how smoothly the cylinder rotates or how accurately the revolver fires. This careful measurement process ensures that only cylinders meeting strict specifications go on to the next stage. After inspection, any sharp edges or burrs left from machining are removed. The cylinder then goes through a finishing process. High-speed buffers polish the exterior and chambers, reducing friction and helping to prevent corrosion. This finish is important for both the function and durability of the revolver, ensuring that the cylinder rotates smoothly and stands up to years of use. Throughout these steps, the focus stays on precision and reliability. The cylinder's job is to hold and rotate the ammunition with perfect timing, so every detail matters. By the time a cylinder passes its final checks, it's ready to work seamlessly with the frame and other components. With cylinder and frame ready, we'll now see how these precision parts come together on the assembly line. The assembly phase is where everything starts to take shape, as each component is brought together to form a working revolver. This process is all about precision. Every part, from the frame and cylinder to the smallest spring, must fit together exactly as designed. Assembly technicians reference detailed blueprints and specialized jigs to align the frame and barrel. These guides make sure that every attachment point and orientation matches the manufacturer's requirements, eliminating the guesswork and helping maintain consistency across every revolver built. Barrel and frame are secured using torque wrenches set to manufacturer specifications to ensure consistent bore alignment. This step is critical. A misaligned barrel can throw off accuracy or cause dangerous malfunctions. Technicians carefully check that the barrel threads in smoothly and seats flush against the frame. Specialized fixtures hold the part steady, letting workers tighten everything just enough for a secure fit without risking damage to the metal. With the barrel in place, attention turns to the cylinder. Technicians use alignment rods and bore scopes to confirm that cylinder chambers index correctly with the barrel. These tools allow them to check the precise relationship between each chamber and the bore, making sure that ammunition lines up perfectly for safe and reliable firing. If anything is even slightly off, adjustments are made before moving on. This focus on chamber alignment is a key part of making a revolver that fires smoothly and safely, round after round. With the main components aligned, the hammer, trigger, and firing pin are fitted by hand under precision fixtures to maintain consistent engagement and safety. This part of the process demands steady hands and a sharp eye, as the internal mechanisms have to interact with each other flawlessly. Technicians adjust springs, pins, and levers so that the trigger pull feels right and the hammer drops reliably. Each part is checked for smooth movement and proper engagement, reducing the risk of misfires or jams in the finished product. Once all parts are in place, the revolver moves on to final adjustments. Technicians inspect every screw, groove, and spring, making minor tweaks to ensure everything is tight and aligned. The revolver is then test-fired with blank ammunition behind protective barriers. This live check verifies smooth cycling, proper chamber alignment, and reliable ejection. Any revolver that doesn't pass this test goes back for further adjustment until it meets the manufacturer's standards. If you're finding these manufacturing insights useful, give us a like to let us know. Now that the revolver is assembled and tested, Let's reflect on how these steps combine into one cohesive manufacturing process. Every revolver is the result of a detailed multi-step process. Material preparation starts with selecting and inspecting steel blocks for strength and stability. Cylinder machining follows, where each chamber is cut and measured to tight tolerances for safety and accuracy. Finally, careful assembly brings together the frame, cylinder, and barrel using specialized tools and checks to ensure reliable operation. From steel block to finished firearm, each stage demands precision to meet safety and performance standards. Modern revolvers, even replicas of historic models, are made using these same steps. 
though today's factories rely on advanced equipment for greater consistency. For more deep dives into manufacturing processes, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss an inside look.